My next guest says America does not need the new revolution that so many protesters have been demanding. She says, yes, the nation has problems that need fixing, but there's a better way to do it. Ayan Hirsi Ali is a human rights activist, Hoover Institute fellow, and founder of AHA Foundation, which combats violence against women. And it's a real pleasure to have you on the show to share your wisdom with all of us here. If I could just set this up by reminding people about the legislation that Congresswoman Ilhan Omar try, uh, was introducing this week. Take a listen. As long as our economy and political systems prioritize profit without considering who is profiting, who is being shut out, we will perpetuate this inequality. So we cannot stop at criminal justice system. We must begin the work of dismantling the whole system of oppression wherever we find it. Ayan, you wrote a little bit about this last week in the Wall Street Journal. I'll give you a chance to tell us how you approach this moment in our history. Uh, well, Dana, uh, thank you very much uh, first for having me on. Um, I listened to someone like Ilhan Omar and talked to my friends, you know. Uh, she's in Congress, the United States Congress, and she's saying, well, why don't we dismantle the whole thing? The economic system, the political system, and it makes you wonder, why, why flee from Mogadishu? Why flee from anarchy? Why flee from oppression? And then come to the United States and then do all your best to turn Minnesota and the U.S. into Mogadishu. It's one of the things that I'd like to ask her. And there's a very good friend of mine uh, who's lived all over the place, whom I admire very much, who posed that question. I don't think we need a revolution. I think what we have, the American Declaration, the American Constitution, the American values, our system gives us the tools to address social injustice, to address inequality, to address all the issues that we face. And I think these movements, and Ilhan is just one of these people who are symbolizing that and who are the faces of that. Um, I think we need to, um, to resist and to say, look, you've come to America in search of freedom. You've come to America in search of equality. We find it here. Our system is not perfect. We can fix it. And we do it through conversations. Um, and what we're seeing, Dana, these days is uh, a very loud, in my view, minority who are saying, let us not seek solutions through the system we have, but let's dismantle it. And I am passionately against it. You wrote that um, we have just three, uh, just a few months to try to figure out a lot of pressing problems, um, but that we can do so in the way that using our critical thinking and finding steps towards solutions rather than dissolution. I'll give you a final word on that. Well, the solution, again, we have to find solutions, and I think we can. Remember, the United States of America is only 244 years old. It is the one nation that has abolished slavery. It is the one nation that has um, stood up for civil rights and has passed laws and has allocated huge resources to achieving, or at least aspiring to achieve, full equality. I do not believe in guaranteeing equality of outcomes. I believe in equality of opportunity. And it's the only nation today in the world, and has been for a long time, where you can seek equal opportunity and where that is encouraged, it's urged. I know so many philanthropists right now who want to invest in that. I think we should reject and stand up to crazy people who are saying that our system, the United States of America, you know, our America is made up of systemic racism. If there's one phrase that really makes me go mad, in like very angry, it's that word used against America. The American constitution, the American system, in fact, gives us all an argument to strive and to aspire to make things better. 
So the Ilhan Omars of this world, the Ocasio-Cortezes of this world, I think they need to take time out and travel in the real world, other countries where you don't have that, where there are really bad systems. Um, well, and I, I'm not too I sure to having you on this them, show to them. Ayan, I encourage everybody watching the Daily Briefing, if you can, follow Ayan, read her work, uh, listen to her. Uh, you're such an inspirational person, and um, I wish you and your family the very best. Tell Neil I said hi. Thank you, Dane. Thank you.